All right, we're back. Well, are we back? I think we're back. Hey, we're back. I'm Hello. Here. Babysitting the sick cat still. Who's just gonna do nothing but hang out. Hey. Hey. No. No. Where were we? Where did we leave off? Oh, oh yes. We met a crazy old man, and the judge attacked him. For no apparent reason to us. But <laughs> now that, that judge points, has pointed it out, it I does turn. look a little strange. When the torchlight flickers and maybe when some light is cast off of Judge's sword, you do notice that there is sort of a undead bat monster quality to him. Oh, uh, well, that's well, yeah. oddly specific. Well, well, that quality, yeah. Uh, that sounds like, uh... <clears throat> that sounds like maybe the Judge isn't as crazy as I thought after all. Maybe, uh, maybe we should actually be helping him before yeah. the crazy bat monster does something bad. Or the law! Yeah. Plus, I'd also like to find out if he's in league with uh, Taren and. Okay, I would like to leap away info. from this guy <laughs> and no longer be in between him and okay. my party. Okay. When you leap away, he's like, "What's wrong? What are you doing?" I'm like, "What? What's wrong with you? You look all weird and and twisty and dark and bat-like." Oh, oh, you mean my true form? Well, <laughs> oh shucks. He's like, "Well, I, I didn't want you to see that, but you know." Like I said, I am a crazy old man who lives in the woods. I just didn't say I was human. Well, that seems perfectly reasonable. Batman? <laughs> well, I'm a bat undead hybrid monstrosity. Well, you're very mean considerate I'm a bat person. Bat undead hybrid monstrosity. Yeah, I feel really, you're really boring right now. I'm just an old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I know magic. <laughs> I, I don't have any myself. special powers. Like I said, when flying stuff attacks me, I have to beat them off with a stick. You're aware there's a bounty out on your head, right? That? There's no bounty out on my head. Is there? Against there all is. fiends. I'm not a fiend. Not a fiend at all. You didn't, How, um, a by fiend chance... would require me to be a planar entity, to which I am not. <laughs> you didn't, uh, you didn't just, attack a... <laughs> Ow. Yep, you hit me again. Right there. Solid bite. Really? You're gonna yell at me now? No, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this. Uh, so you didn't steal a tracker's quicksand cloak from her? What's a quicksand cloak? Excellent. Good. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> wait, wait. Like, wait. You're not bothering me except for the guy who stabbed me. You know, the rest of you, I guess we're cool. <laughs> Apart from the whole crazy crazy old man who happens to be an undead bat monstrosity hybrid thingy. I just Could tell travelers not to come this way. Apparently that makes me a bad person worthy of being stabbed. Yeah, I don't and know that... what's... I'm sorry. It's it's a misunderstanding, <laughs> obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Look, I never said that meant you meant were be worthy of being stabbed, but if you were perhaps be attacking travelers, that would be... You're not doing that, are you? I'm not attacking you, am I? Am I? Haven't yet? We're not sleeping. I've never I'm met a monster saying. that didn't attack the helpless. Well, I'm not I a have. monster. I'm a monstrosity. There's a difference. Uh-huh. Little <laughs> difference in my world. Like, oh, give the give the guy a break. He's, I mean, he's out here fending for himself just like us, it sounds. I mean, I, I think you maybe owe this man an apology. You stabbed him pretty I good agree. there. You do owe me an apology. He's not getting an apology. Well, do you have some spare coin? You did rip my shirt. Nope. Well, that's kind of dickish. Uh, I, can, uh, I can let you leave with your life. Well, I'll take that. I hope you die in an unmarked grave. <laughs> Same to you. stick and starts wandering <laughs> off back into the forest beyond the light of your torch. Anyone doing anything before he leaves? Hey. Sir. Before you, uh... Get... Before well, you go... Um, Go ahead. We seem to be a little lost. Yeah. And you seem to know where. Well, I might Justiza have helped you if your is. friend didn't stab me and then tell me to wander off in the middle of the night. Uh, no, I don't think. I'm not my asking you to. My hospitality is extremely limited, and you ripped my only shirt. If perhaps. It's his only shirt. I were to give you some coin for a new shirt. Oh? Could you, in exchange for said coin, potentially point us to a place where we might be able to acquire rations to travel to Tristie's house with. Well, 
I could give you things that look like rations, but I doubt they'd be palatable or digestible by your frail living, you know, digestive systems. Well, that wouldn't do any good for us, would it? I do know that the harpies die of the West River. They did uh, come across some cargo the other day. Might be there's some foodstuffs in there. You don't huh. just have to brave the harpies. Yeah, I'd be trying to get you to walk off the cliff to your death, but, you know, you could just fly. He's kind of unfurls his wings. He's like, I'd be fine with... Oh, oh, oh I forgot. You guys aren't undead, so you're, you're not immune to enchantment magic. And you don't have wings, so I guess that would make things pretty hard for you. <laughs> well, you probably shouldn't go that way, then. But there so, might be food there. So what I'm hearing is no basically. Well, I mean, it's not like there's a food vendor out here. You should probably go back to the city and spend money on it. I'll make you a new offer. Yes? I I, if we I'd go rather, back to the city... I think I'd uh -huh. rather fight a harpy than go back to that place. And, and, and acquire some rations. Uh-huh. And while we're there, we acquire you a new set of clothing, rather than just the coin from which to procure it. Well, I mean, do you have my measurements? Well, I'm sure we could. If, if we're if we're gonna finish this contract, I require very precise tailoring. I mean, I am a back wing monstrosity, you know. Well, I'm sure you have seen my if old If you're robes. willing to give me your measurements, I would be willing to go then procure you the clothing to your specifications. But in exchange for that level of 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 service, I might wonder if you'd be willing to accompany us up to towards Tristy's house. Sounds like you're trying to parlay with him. I most assuredly am. So, uh, I think you have to offer him something of value, right? How is that, though? The, the clothes. I'm offering counts. him to go get him tailoring. Your, your clothes leverage has to be something they need or want. But here's the problem. You don't have any money. I do have money. I have... Yeah, I have, I have a couple coin, too. Okay. Eleven coin with which All to right. get his tailoring done. Yeah, sure. I have ten coin. I think that's it. We can get his tailoring Make done. Make your parlay roll. Yeah, and Your I'm role like, is, like, if you get him clothing and come back... He will accompany you? Yes. Okay. Are you talking about going back to town? Because no, we need food, that. yes. <sighs> All right, let's see what he has to say. Parlay seven and nine. He needs some concrete assurance of your promise right now. He's like, okay. well, I could help you, but... I need to see that you have enough coin to both buy the dungeon rations you're looking for and get me some fine clothing. I show him my eleven coin. Yeah, and yeah, I like pull look out hardly like I, enough. I pull out my coin and jingle it. How much do you have? I have ten coin that that uh, that actually that he gave me, so I'm totally okay with spending it on whatever he wants. So he's like, well, in order for you to survive, each of you is going to need six dungeon rations. Get there and then get back. That's 12 coin total. There's just four of you. And then you probably need to spend at least five coin on ostentatious clothing for me. Yeah, we can we can cover it, right? This is... You know, it occurs to me at this moment that uh, having played Pathfinder for this long... I just didn't Pathfinder. think of. I just. I yeah. No. No. Not, I'm. Just, I'm just saying. <laughs> Before leaving town, in a game that isn't Pathfinder, you should really think about actually stocking up on food. <laughs> I know. It's. It's. Yeah. It's a novel thing that we all neglected to think about. Because I in Pathfinder, <laughs> food rations. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not like people that need food. Um, I roll a survival check. I stuff. find some food. That's fine. Precisely. Here we go. Adventuring gears. Oh my god, adventuring gears. 20 coins? Yep. <sighs> so we've already spent a day. We're going to spend another day going back. Sure. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. People, these people are going to be alive by the time we get actually. All right, then we we don't we don't we don't recruit the vampire. That's fine. He's not oh. a vampire. <laughs> Sorry, so the undead gonna, monstrosity. My apologies. Can I like, whisper off probably to 
Hmm, who should this go to? Probably Eldamari. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if we turn him in, that's 100 coin at least, right? He's not a... He's not a daemon. He's not the thing that they're looking for. Are you sure? What if he's lying? Um, I have no way of telling. <laughs> he might I'm be lying. You if you spout lore. Oh. Well, sure. Let me spout <laughs> lore let's on the situation. You, let's let's learn what your fiendiology class taught you. <laughs> let's see. What do I know about I that guy? Oh, I actually get a seven. Okay, yeah, you learned something interesting but not useful. I can't fail a roll. <laughs> no uh, XP for you. Nope. Yeah, no XP. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> um, you know that being undead doesn't necessarily make you evil, but it also means you have priorities that are probably difficult, if not impossible, for the living to understand. Hmm. Okay. So he's not necessarily evil, but he has a... What do you call it? A predilection towards being self-caring? Not necessarily. Okay. But almost everybody has a, uh, a yes. sense of... Uh, <laughs> survival? Survival. Yeah. Yeah. Self-preservation. Yeah, Self self-preservation. That's a good one. Yeah. But what is this, what do you mean, what is it that m mere mortals such as myself could not understand about? If you knew that, you would have learned something useful rather than just interesting. <laughs> Good point. So I you're sure like, it's not a fiend? Hey, he's undead, he's not a fiend. Uh, they were pretty specific, and, you know, knowing the bureaucracy... Now, when you say that, then, he's like, well, you know, I'm not a fiend, but would you really trust the mayor to know that? I guess you could kill me and turn me in, and, I mean, I'd be worth a lot of money, but could you live with yourself? I couldn't. Well, considering every other undead I've read about, like, eats people, possesses people... Stuff like that. I don't yeah, possess I people. I could, I could sleep pretty well. I don't eat. That sounds you know, racist. Per se. What do you do then? He hasn't eaten I, us yet. Or how do you true. how do you survive he out here? I eat animals. He's like me. I like pull out a rat. Yeah. Just one of us. Just well, a normal person that happens to be undead and partially a bat. I like and, to eat, you know, living animals rather than dead animals. I like to. You know, the taste of their warm blood, but yeah, I'm kind of what you might consider an undead monk. You know, huh. I've given up the whole eating of uh, intelligent flesh thing. It's far if that, is, if that is true, then I would indeed like to apologize for attacking you. Oh, that's quite all right, son, you son of a dick. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I like laugh part. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, oh, that's very nice of you to apologize. I, I appreciate your apology. And all. I, I mean, your sword didn't hurt me too much, but you did rip my clothing. And you, it's not easy to get clothing when you're a walking bat monster. <laughs> that seems like a reasonable. Um, do you, do you, you know I, what? I don't it know what I'm. Like what am I wearing? Dogs right? out here, and you know have... how hard it is to get that out of my fur. I just like to have some nice, you know, pad in between me and the the pure rainwater. So. Arthur, I'm wearing like my my robes, which are not my glorious stolen robes, but just some r random robes. But I probably have like a shirt on underneath that. Um, so I I open my robes and I'm like, well, how about this thing? So he unfolds his full height. He's clear that he's almost twice as tall as you are, and it just he has enormous wings on his back. So the clothing he's wearing is kind of like a sleeveless shirt. That has like space for the wings to come out of. There's like zippers. Mm -hmm. We can like zip the wings in place, and he's just like, "Well, no, I don't think I I don't think your shirt's gonna fit me, son." I know I know that when I was in you know my illusionary form, we looked to be about the same size, but you know, I am uh, a giant bat monster. So you said. 
And everybody's awfully calm about that. I like I that. I know. I really appreciate the fact that no one's tried to stab me in at least two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we can Has it been that long? Sir. Wow. You know, Sorry, I don't have a replacement. They either try to kill me, or when I warn them about the evils of the forest, they turn around and go home. It's nice to have somebody to talk to. Yeah. Why don't, why don't you just join us and travel up to Trisetta House? No, you know? no, that's they probably crazy. have shirts there. Exactly. Well, for one thing, the owner of Tristie's house is a crazy bitch. A woman? Oh yeah, totally hot. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> well, I mean, I know what she calls herself. But it's not a real name. Oh well, if what you is wouldn't it? mind sharing it. Well, she calls herself Annabeth. And a base. I got no beef with her, but she's got an army of evil creatures between here and there. You an army, you say? Some sort of evil creature slaying machine in order to get up there. Or have a small army. Well, you know, the five of us are a small army. He's like, I'm and... not traveling with you. I don't know how many times I got to tell you that one, but that guy stabbed me. All right, and he said little... he was sorry. He, he is did. sorry, and and we can be on our way. What Think if I it. eat some of your flesh and then said I was sorry for doing it? Would you <laughs> still not kill me? Uh, okay, well... You, you see my point, stuff. then? Hmm. It would have to be an it. honest mistake, which, honestly, I can't really think of a circumstance where that would happen. Well, so, apparently you sorry. decided to judge a book by its cover. Just because I look like a horrible undead monster means I must be trying to eat your flesh, right? Judging's what I do. <laughs> Judging's what I do. Well, you seem to be pretty bad at it. Uh, 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 He's a very uh, judgmental uh, person. The uh, reinforcement. But, but, but he... But he... Like, all right, we don't have time for this crap. Let's go. Yeah, we... He's the law! One way or the other, we He's need food if we're going to survive fall. this trek. So, yeah. So, where does it say the harpies are? And uh, because we don't want to go oh, there. Oh, they're by the Western River. Oh, good. Right. The path we're not planning to take. Excellent. Great. Let's get you. Man, I, I am not entirely certain how we're going to explain to the tailor why we need this. Wait, wait, wait. We <sighs> you say it's for a horse. Yeah, I, thought, or I thought you said we wanted to just go, though. Yeah, I, I was in the You were like, my friends are going to die. All yeah. oh, right, yeah, yeah, okay. I thought you guys yeah, really wanted no. to. No, we weren't, we weren't okay. that set on it. We just needed okay. to be talked out of it. <laughs> okay, good, good. Kind Let's like just go. Magic. We'll be fine. But after all this is through, uh, you know, we'll bring you back some clothing from Trisetta House if we find it. Because oh, honestly, nice. honestly, most people take offense when somebody stabs them. And, uh, you know... You've been rather chill about it. Well, I'll, you know? I'll tell you boys Gotta what. Get, if all of you die get. alone in the forest, I'll make sure to bury your bodies right proper. Thank That's you. extremely gracious of you. I'm going to go back to my treehouse now. Whatever direction I'm going in is definitely not the direction it's in. Not that I'm afraid that that guy with the sword's going to stab me to death in the middle of the night. But <laughs> I'm going to go one direction. It's really another, though. Don't follow me, and he just starts walking backwards out of the light. <laughs> You're not following me, are you? No, no. you're a good old man. That's of course good. not. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That was a very pleasant fellow. <laughs> I like him. I Judge! Why did you do that? Are you kidding me? Undead are normally voracious, wicked things. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta find out first, right? Not usually, no. <laughs> this is the first. Is it, it's the first. It, it isn't that how the law works? I mean, guilt, innocent until proven guilty. Look, if some undead abomination just waltzed into a town, it'd be dead before it could say, "Excuse me." That's how that would work. That's Maybe why that's why he lives clothes. on the edge of the forest. Yeah. Well, so I'm just yes. saying, the undead that I've interacted with, you kill them, and then you like move on with your life. Well, 
guess we've expanded our horizons today. Found out that there's undead that uh, don't want to eat your flesh. Mm, yeah. It's strange. I guess it's, I guess it's good news, right? I mean, that's great yeah. news. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. It's lovely. Now, let's so this get, no. little fiasco happened here, right? <clears throat> where I missed the ping. Or right here. there or a little bit further, depending on where we yeah. had camp. Yeah. It's nice. Let's keep going and uh, try and rescue those people before, you know, it's... Okay, so uh, through the night, what's the watch order? Third again. I'll take two. Same with first. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'll take the, the last one again, right? Yeah. Okay, um, all right. And uh, on the road, if there's any other travelers, like, I'll be looking for other travelers to approach. Uh I get the feeling after hungry. this point they're probably going <laughs> to... I know. <laughs> that sounded but... really bad. <clears throat> he said there was, there was like armies of demons or whatever, but... Yeah, this is not a place people go into casually anymore. Perhaps once. Okay. But not so is the road years. pretty bad then? Like So, um, it's, it's actually fairly well maintained. The wild walkers show up and like clean it up. Yes, this is a, a regular sized module rather than an adventure path, but it is the gothic demonic one. Uh, about halfway through the day, you come to a fork in the road. To the west, it says um, Serene Pool. And to the northeast, it says um, Bridge over Three Gorge. And then the bridge has been scratched out. Someone's drawn like an X over it. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, should yeah. we try and cross the river, or should we go around? Uh, <clears throat> going around seems like it would take a severe detour and possibly bring us near the harpies. Yeah, I don't want. I don't like those harpies. How does the river look? Like, is it forgeable? How many wagon? Uh, how many a, wagon wheels are we gonna lose if we try to fork? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a pretty serious thing. gorge. Like there's a cliff drop off. You'd have to oh, okay. climb down it, swim across, and then climb up the other side. Pretty involved deal. Yeah, unless you had some sort of river or bridge creating equipment. Yeah. Uh, let's see what I have in this adventuring pack of mine. Oh, look, a rope and a grappling hook. I'm just making that up. I'm, I'm, I assume that's how adventuring kits work, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how they work. Yeah. But how? Maybe that would that would at least help with climbing bit, and you know. All right. Get to get something fastened then. You can climb down. Over. Climb down, then use the rope to cross the river, and then climb up the other side. How this far is, down is it? Uh, 130 feet. Oh, oh crap! You've got plenty of rope. Okay. I feel like this this well, should be some sort of check, though, right? Yeah, it's definitely a defy danger. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's some danger involved. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm more uh, so thinking about once we cross, like how are we going to throw it up 130 feet? <laughs> you you can do that. What's your strength now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're strong I enough. Up. If that was an option, I guess, yeah. Yeah, sure. And we could do like, okay. like get it on a good like rock or root halfway up. And then... is deep. <laughs> 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 the, you're like, ah, eh, that looks about uh, three cyclopses down. We'll have to go. Yep. <laughs> the standard measuring unit in Talador. <laughs> there have been some weird measuring units. Rather than measuring journeys in days, you travel. You do it by rations. Yeah, rather yeah. miles or days, but yeah. <clears throat> okay, so just tell us what we're rolling. Uh, I guess we've. You tell me how are you climbing down the side and then back up the side of these gorges. Uh, I thought wasn't everybody happy with the idea of yeah. you know just fast fasten the fasten yeah, a rope plan. down with with one of the with a with a knot that we can you know. Right. I just feel the, like that would be strength then, right? You but gotta before we do this, I would like to just bring to our attention that chat has an alternative counterproposal. 
fill and that we could just fill the gorge with cyclopses and walk yeah, across. That's them. not a reasonable. <laughs> hmm. If hey, you had some cyclopses. You have like several cyclopses <laughs> in. You would require at least six. <laughs> Wouldn't we need like nine? Because no. three stacked on top of one yeah, another. Yeah, you do three, three stacked on top of each other in two sets, right? <laughs> oh, just two sets. Yeah. So the first set, you walk over to the second set. Then the first set. Moves around to the next area and you leapfrog them. Oh, okay, okay. You leapfrog Cyclops Towers. <laughs> Excellent. That that sounds perfectly reasonable. Let's do that. Um, if you had such a Cyclops as you could train them to stand three tall. Uh, and one... obey your commands. <laughs> Let's I, find I, us I, some Cyclopses. Right so, so these are strength, the yeah. strength so, checks to um. Yeah, to I get feel like down. all of you will need to make can I, a can sprint I, uh, race. So when people are getting ready to climb down, I'm like... uh. I'm like, hey, Judge, do you mind if maybe I just like cling on to your to your back there? <laughs> I I do have uh, one one question before we go though. The we're in the middle of a forest. Yep. Um, how the river? I, I'd like to test the river by just you know finding a twig and throwing it in, seeing what seeing how how uh, you know bad the current is. Slow current. Oh, that's good. I don't suppose there's like you know an incredibly handily, just in sort for this occasion, placed right near this place a big log that we could roll over there no. to make a makeshift bridge. Damn. Nope. The log would need to be several hundred feet long. The, is there any <laughs> remains of the bridge since there was apparently once a bridge? Since there the are no posts and no ropes anywhere. There doesn't seem to be any evidence there ever actually was a bridge here. Okay, so it might have just been a deceptive sign. Unless you'd like to look more closely. You know, hop on. I think I will. Okay, that's good. Uh, hop on. So I'm yep. wondering if I can now... More <laughs> 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 XP for so you. So Frederick William Mayfield the 14th, you're like looking over the side of the cliff, and you're like, huh, I wonder if there was a... Ah! the... The ground gives way, and you fall deep, deep down. Can you take eight harm as you hit the water? Eight harm? Yeah, yeah, eight damage. Oh, eight damage. I'm like, what's yeah. harm? Sorry, I'm apocalypse warning right now. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Eight harm would have made him... Uh... Yeah, You. so what happens is you hit the water at pretty high speed, but more importantly... The water is somewhat... It's very shallow. Is it going this towards way? Towards the edges. No, it's heading towards the serene pool. So it's heading in the west. Okay. Yes. Um, you you hit... You bottom out, basically. And you, like, feel your back snap. Like, oh, God! Ah! Why? If only I had six <laughs> cyclopses, this would be so much easier. <laughs> So yeah, I think the rest of you probably heard him, like, you heard the cliff give way underneath his weight, and he slid over the edge. What oh, do you want to do? Well, that's start, start climbing, climbing down. down. No, I just dive after him. No. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, I love it! I, I love it! Just making sure. I've done stuff like that before, but not today. Uh, <laughs> not this day. The old wizard, not the one that's like... <laughs> Leaps in action. In a time of wolves and shattered shields. <laughs> um, no, yeah, and so I'm actually uh, going to cling onto um, the back of Judge Dredd while he climbs down. All right. Is this Can make any make mechanical an difference? I, yes, I think you're going to make an int roll, right? Because you're yes. using your your brain. Yeah. No. Nope. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Judge D. Red, why That's don't you make your strength two, roll? Which is why I wanted to. Sorry, what? <sighs> why don't you make your strength roll? All right. I want to see if you're falling with him or. Yeah. So let's see what happens. I I mean I have uh, I, have, I know exactly what I would do. It's an up hater. All right, Judge D. Red, you stumble, hesitate, or flinch. I can offer you a worse outcome, a hard bargain, or an ugly choice. So here's what happens. Uh, Red Peronin starts falling off your back. Mm-hmm. No. You can grab him. <laughs> And swing him up, but in order to do so, you're gonna have to lose your grip and fall in his place. But here's the final part of the bargain: he's watching you, and if you don't grab him, he's gonna know that you fucked up. 
<laughs> He's gonna know that you let him fall. Don't yeah. let me fall. Yeah, you don't have enough time to say that. <laughs> yeah, I can't like talk in like a full sentences in slow motion while falling, like in the movies. Like, <laughs> yeah, you don't have anywhere near that amount of time. <laughs> Let's throw him up. Okay, all right. You fall. You take eight uh, damage instead. Okay. You, you fall in heavy armor right next to Frederick William Mayfield the Fourteenth, and you just tidal wave over him. Does armor help against falling down? Yeah, it will. Oh. Good. Well, uh, nice. Yeah. So I think Frederick William Mayfield the Fourteenth is probably like standing up, maybe wringing his beautiful hat out, and then yeah. a new wave of, like river water lands on top of it. <laughs> oh. oh. Ow. I, I'm i going to, like, go, huh. I'd like to look to the left, look to the right, and see if there's any w- place that's not too far away that looks like it, looks like it would be easier to go no, down. No, this is actually the easiest place to go down. More <laughs> oh. importantly, as you're looking, you notice Peronin hanging precociously. Like, ah! And there's probably, like, an adventure track that's like, da 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 He's just... <laughs> I'm going. No, no, you're not even holding on to a rope. You're oh, holding on to like the cliff oh, just side. The side? You're like, okay. oh, help yeah. me! Someone help me! Inconceivable. I'm, I'm going to drop. <laughs> I'm going to throw the rope I was holding with a grappling hook around a tree with one hand and jump and grab his arm with my with the other. Can I assume that you like run out the side of the cliff and like swing motion around? Use like the momentum, <laughs> like some Attack on Titan bullshit, you know. Oh yeah, use oh the yeah. Mo- I, I, I use totally circular momentum to swing by and grab him. Yeah. But you know what? They did it in. Uh, they did it in Chronicles of Riddick too. Yep. yep. Yeah. It's I feel awesome. like I definitely have movie and anime precedents for this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like you're definitely gonna have to defy danger and dexterity for that one. But it'll be awesome. You're just trailing the rope out behind you as you run like parallel along the cliff. And as you leap out and hope that the circular momentum will like carry you in such a way to grab Peronin, a tight that tree that. that you wrapped your grappling hook around just snaps. <laughs> and you're just like, no! Oh, you fall and take eight damage. And now we're all in the river. Well, actually, Peron is still stuck up on the <laughs> How are you getting down? Like, I, don't uh, know. I, I, I mean, so far we're three for four, so I'm guessing. Falling. This is I'm going like, splendidly. I don't want to go in the water. Oh. I'll catch you. <laughs> scream up. <laughs> And then I talk to the guys. Uh, no, no, I won't. But uh, <laughs> Best so seriously, I'm not ever. strong enough to do that. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Dread could, but he just Brett's um, still catching his breath. Uh, uh, well, Peronin, what's your plan? What am I gonna do here? Change Try plan. to climb down. Maybe at least you'll fall a I'm shorter sorry. distance. When you eventually fall, not that I'm, you know, saying you will eventually fall, but I am. Okay. Well, doesn't he have one of those nifty spells? Um, he can make the rope invisible. I've never, I've never <laughs> used this item before, so I'm not sure that this is exactly how you can use it. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe I have like a book about um, rock climbing in yeah, my sure. bag. <laughs> yeah, but you, you use that to give you a bonus to spout lore. Oh, it's just to the That's spout how lore. Work. Yeah. Let me see here. Oh yeah, and then I could spout lore about about how badly things are about to go. You could learn something interesting and useful to your situation. Oh, I could, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like wrapping my arm around one root, and like, I got like my, I'm like, I know right here it says something about gripping with your toes, something about the toes, and so I'm uh yeah, and then I will try it's to. It's the same as a guide to rock climbing, obviously. Yeah. Um, spout lore is wisdom. Uh, no, it's in. Oh, it's in. Okay. And you get a plus one. So it makes it a seven. Thing. I was gonna say you can't possibly fail, but then you did. <laughs> but then you didn't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yes. You learned something interesting, but not useful. 
Okay. I'm like, yeah, it's the toes, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think you learned that um, you could, like, there's some way, probably, like, you drop the book midway through learning it. It was outlining some way that you could, like, wrap the rope around your leg and then, like, slowly uh, rappel down the side using, like, the pressure of your leg... Okay. Yeah, uh, but unfortunately, you didn't learn exactly how to tie the knot or where to wrap the rope around. Okay, so I'm just gonna like, uh, yeah, I'll just like, I'm gonna kick off my shoes because I probably am gonna need my toes. Are they made of blue suede? Um, yeah, but they're so <laughs> dirty now you can't even tell. Yeah. Of well, they're getting clean in the river now, so. <laughs> yeah, clean river water. Let me tell you about that. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I start to clamber down uh, the cliff, like like inch by inch. Um, this is going to end poorly. I'm sure. So and I'm so about this to have to bring my check. ostentatious hat out for the third time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're doing strength? Sure. Yeah. Nine. Okay. Uh, you stumble, hesitate, or flinch. <laughs> well, you know that bag of books... All my books. Well, <laughs> it's caught on that root from before. You can hold on to the bag of books and you're not going anywhere, but you keep the books. Or you could start making it down safely, but you have to leave the books behind. All right, I'm not going to try it. I can't keep making strength rolls like that. I, I s just sigh deeply and I'm like, I don't know, there's were really good books in there. I can't exactly remember which ones were in there. They start but, uh, out I know they were going to be useful. <laughs> like, oh dear, oh, okay, time yeah. to start moving. Uh, I love it if it, if one was like the the theory of gravity by <laughs> Sir Pounds Newton, <laughs> <laughs> and the next one would be like how acceleration affects objects. <laughs> <laughs> They're just falling past you out of the book bag. <laughs> um, yeah. So then I I finish my climb down and. Uh, and probably, like, wring out my, like, sore hands when I get to the bottom. Yeah. When you get to the bottom, there's a one book falls next to you. It's called How Not to Be a Stupid Jackass by <laughs> Loden. I'm like, I should have read that one instead of the climbing one. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> uh, I, I sort of get up, get all my hair out of my, get all the hair out of my face. And I'm like, really, guys? The wizard made it. Okay. Ropes for dummies. Like I kind of, I kind of RKO'd one of you off of that thing. <laughs> really? You think you could have RKO'd someone off a cliff? Oh, uh, that's an exaggeration. But... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the force of both of you hitting the water would definitely snap his neck. Uh, yeah, don't, don't try that. Just that saying, that seems like an inherently unsafe position to cliff dive from. These, at least these guys survived. I'm like, yeah, and I'm just checking them out. I'm like, what's the damage? Are you guys okay? Oh my oh, god. god. The pain. When I visualize it just, like, Rogan, racked. My, my mind goes right to Randy Orton. That's totally the connection. Yeah, that snake looking motherfucker. He seems really trustworthy. Randy Orton. Yeah, if you haven't seen the video Wrestling Isn't Wrestling, you definitely need to. Oh, I have seen it's it. So good. It's, it is <laughs> this pretty seems good. like a guy I can really trust. <laughs> it was incredibly I'm a funny. Snake. Considering the fact that I've never watched American Wrestling, uh, and I found the video hilarious. I highly yeah, recommend it. Yeah, it was good. It's just called Wrestling Isn't Wrestling? Yeah. Don't yeah. watch it now. I'm not going to watch it now. I <laughs> just want to make Skewing. a note to myself. You should have watched it back when I ran the the wrestling RPG, the that, wrestling apocalypse. That is true. I should have, but I... All right, you've already paid the price for your crime, so you make it up the far side of the cliff without any problems. Aww. Ah, that was nice. Nice little stroll through the woods. Nice bath in the river. So how, so how uh, incredibly filthy are we talking here? Oh, I mean, there's plenty of bacteria in there and all sorts of nasty stuff, but there's no, like, stuff. Okay, that's good. In... Red Mons just... try to lay hands on himself. Just in front of everyone, right there. 
Yeah. Wow. It's not like it's a scandal. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Really, Virgil? <laughs> Zen and the Art of Climbing uh -huh. World. You do nothing. You literally oh, right. heal your damage away while taking it. Does it just like travel from one like shoulder to the other? He's like, oh, now this shoulder hurts. <laughs> Pretty much. It's not any better. <laughs> uh, you know what we could use right about now? One of Frederick's awesome songs that heal you. You mean how I can <clears throat> be your healer, darling? Let me take away your pain. Yes, we were still looking on those lyrics, but that song was great for my uh, last stab wound. <laughs> Suddenly, out of nowhere, the old <laughs> man swoops in. Ka -ka! Well, let me roll it to heal you. Yeah, let's see if you manage to bounce the healing off to somebody else. Nope. You target him for a heal. Go ahead. Oh. Don't you have some sort of extra ability that activates yes, when you heal people now? Yes, I get to heal myself. Well, that's nice. Ooh. So, do I roll the d8 for s both of us? You or roll separate? for both. So we both get six back? Yeah, nice sure. Roll. Nice. I am... Ah, that was great. <laughs> that's not something people often say when they fall off a cliff. Ah, well, that, that song. The, the cliff diving, we could have done without, but that, but that song is, you know, it's... It's catchy, man. And I'm like, I, I really appreciate you trying to swing down and save me. I mean, it, it looked pretty cool until that, that, you know, tree gave out on you. Yeah, well, you haven't, you haven't, Corona, uh, do you need my before. healing, darling? Can I take away <laughs> your pain? I think, I'm fine. I, think, I, I think we need to have it. Let me be your healer, baby. I feel like I don't know. once you lost your mandolin, you got super creepy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You could have gone with some other stuff too, like sexual healing by Marvin Gaye. Because <laughs> when I see your bleeding, I know you're in need of healing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what you could have gone with, but no. No. That's because I have basically n negative uh, uh, amount of knowledge of songs, so. Yeah. My musical knowledge is my Jim's musical knowledge is is <sighs> we, we 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 could do that. We really if shouldn't we... be playing a bard. <laughs> we aren't playing like a bard that's a painter. We 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 could be doing that that's if why we you were only playing. Rolled a six. <laughs> We'd be doing yeah, that if we were playing a. So bad. A but role playing. Random Protoss is making fun of me, and I appreciate that. <laughs> What's up, Thor? We could do that if we were playing a game based on that anime I just watched the other, the the week before last and was telling you about, and everybody was like, yeah, I've seen that because it's really old Berserk. No. Uh, because apparently in that world, uh, the only way to, to heal people even is sexual healing. It seemed that way anyway. So you're talking about Apocalypse World. Okay, no, we're done. Bers Berserk. <laughs> An anime. It's awesome. Speaking of animes, I think the new AP dot anime dropped today. Was that uh? Yeah. Oh, I should watch that. Awesome. Is that Kelly McCullough? What? What? No, that was I... the AP dot books. Okay. No. But yeah, that one's pretty good too. So, um, eventually you make it to the stopping point for the night. Uh, in the kind of open area between you and Tristiza house. What's the watch order for the night? I think we've, um, well, we've I mean, had success the so far with the yeah. watch Yeah. And uh, I eat my final ration. So who is yes. number two? I am. Okay. I need you to make a wisdom roll. This is the take watch move. When you're on watch and something approaches the camp, Red is out of dungeon oh, rations. There's your XP, buddy. <laughs> you got there's that XP. XP. Awesome, I got that XP. Oh, you Just got another one, too, for your other... Yeah, for my following. I've made every roll so far, and now when it actually, you know, really counts, <laughs> I'm just, like, falling. On a miss, whatever failing. lurks outside the campfire's light has the drop on you. Excellent. So, here's what's happening. 
<clears throat> Elder Domino, you're just looking around, maybe you're whistling to yourself, testing your spear out, when all of a sudden you look up in the firelight and there are six huge macho, like, mutated elf orcs with flaming red hair and axes, and they're just like, hey, what's up? And then just start beating you savagely. Jesus. So... That's unexpected, I gotta say. That, that, that is... I, does that this would surprise me! Uh, it'll wake you guys up after he gets done getting beaten. In just a second. <laughs> right. I, I, I feel incredibly bad that huge macho orc elves managed to sneak up on me. Yeah. So, let's see here. They deal a d6 plus 4 plus 5. Oh! Because there's 6 of them. Oh, that's... So they that's deal not... D6 plus 9 damage. Oh, that's, that's the nothing. The force of their arms are incredibly powerful. Shit. Uh... Yeah, it's only 14 damage. Okay, that's 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 fine. You I'm, still I'm alive? Good. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, yes. The rest of you are all awoken by this savage and utterly brutal beating. As all, fo all six of them are, like, hitting him with these huge axes. Do we their have arms are, like... Piston driven. They're like rah rah rah. Do we have a campfire going? Yes. Yep. All right. The campfire is now going to rush towards the group, um, uh, and I will uh, say in old man, man voice, uh, "Away or burn in the flames of my arcane powers." Oh. So all using... six of them like see you using that and. Uh, I need you to roll 2d6 plus int real quick. This is for one of their moves. Okay, so Nine. let's see here. This is their shrieking move. Shrieking. <sighs> okay, they begin, yeah, like, they see your fire, and you're, like, telling them to do something, and they all begin going, ah! But it's, like, a supernaturally loud. You can hear it echoing through the forest. And uh, they all start backing off. Like, they all disappear into the edge of the light. But then you hear a return shriek coming from somewhere west of you. You hear somebody else, like, making that shrieking noise. And then there's, like, lots of that shrieking. Okay, I quickly throw a <laughs> healing potion uh, uh, to Eldamri. I'm like, quick, take this! Uh, glug, glug, glug. Ten hit points. Thank you. Did you uh, fantasy tactics throw it at him and just let yeah. the, the glass break? I hold it up. And yeah. then... <laughs> you just sort of walk up walk up behind me and break the glass over my head. And I'm like, hey, thanks. Much that better. is a game that should have been made into a tabletop RPG. Mm. Final Fantasy Tactics? Yeah, yeah. undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. 